Well, hey everyone, it's Black Child here. Um, I wanted to do a quick kind of channel update, uh, tell you all what's kind of going on because a few weeks ago, maybe about two weeks ago, um, one of the commenters on the channel had sent me a message and told me that Gizmodo, uh, formerly owned, run by Gawker Media, had included some of my video in an article they wrote uh, about the Las Vegas shooting. So when I looked it up, um, <laughs> you know, it's this guy, Tom McKay, That's this is the name of the uh, reporter, and he wrote an article called the YouTube search results promote conspiracy theories about the Las Vegas shooting. And it was just attacking, you know, it was attacking um, us within the truth, the community, and never named my channel per se. Um, but you know, he, the purpose of the article is for him to attack and to say, you know, how can YouTube allow these videos to get views and to be relevant on the platform, etc. Which really was insulting to me because really what it was is they're mad that we can ask questions. I mean, and I thought that that was the job of these quote reporters was to ask questions uh, and to get answers for the public at large, but apparently it's not. And so we, or a small collective of us, have decided that we're going to be the ones to ask questions for everybody else since they don't want to or um, they can't or whatever it is and then we get attacked for it so now i'm being attacked on gizmodo uh, because and and then you know he puts my video as the screenshot of his article that he wrote uh and you know it was just um why they question the las vegas shooting why can't you just uh you know accept what cnn and abc tells you and then my thing about this whole article that this guy wrote is that he's attacking me, but that they can't even, they don't even know what happened. I mean, first it was, uh, he, the man was shooting out the window, then the security guard showed up, then he shot the security guard. Then the story was, it became, uh, well, the security guard got shot first, and then he started shooting out the window. Then it was, well, that wasn't the case. So it's like, what? I mean, either it is or it isn't. So clearly they're covering up stuff. And then apparently the security guard was supposed to do an interview, I think, on Fox. Or he was, I think he was actually going to do a press conference first and then do. But they said he just disappeared. <laughs> Literally, like the union people from the uh, hotel didn't even know where he was uh, right before the press conference. So they, they just disappeared him. Uh, and then he emerged a few days ago to go on the Ellen show and then people are like well why you know how could Ellen have dropped the ball how could Ellen have not gotten the facts down upon what happened that night at the shooting and I'm like well that was the whole point of him going on Ellen are you going on Ellen to do <laughs> an interview about what happened at the shooting I mean clearly they're shilling clearly they're covering it up they still don't know what actually happened or they're still not revealing to the public what happened and then if I do a video putting in how, you know, actual footage of the news reporting of the people saying, well, it, we believe it was more than one shooter, uh, it sounded like more than one gun, et cetera, et cetera. If I put that in, then it's a conspiracy theory and how dare YouTube even allow us to exist. Um, and then the other thing that this guy does is he never names my channel. He does include a link, which I didn't realize at first, but he did actually embed the video into uh, the article he wrote but he never you know says the name of the channel etc but then what he does people he does name are of course alex jones and um and some somebody else um and you know that's always what they'll do so they'll just put their you know the closest you know kind of the gatekeeper as he represents all of us and that we all represent him so, you know, he's a re reflection on us and we're a reflection on him and that anything that we do, it's, you know, he agrees with and anything he says we agree with. And that's what they're trying to do is that we're all one person and that we're, quote, you know, the alt-right hate speech, etc. 
but see the one thing i've realized is some of the reason these people don't usually bring up my name as my youtube handle is because i'm a black person so it's hard for them to be like oh well you know this is hate speech you know this is white supremacy and all this stuff because you know you're asking a question you're asking a question because you don't believe um this you know the official report and they and then notice now nothing on this las vegas shooting you don't hear anything about it now because they they don't even have the uh, you know the the script that they're gonna go with now. I mean everything has been shot so bad that now the the, the cop uh, from the Las Vegas PD is just sitting up there crying, begging people to believe what he's saying. Uh, so and then was you know and I don't see this guy from Gizmodo uh, writing a report about what happened. I don't see him doing reporting about if the man if the security officer was shot six minutes before six minutes after i don't see him doing any reporting on anything other than just attacking us and saying that you know we're ridiculous and that youtube needs to stop this now because you know we are undermining the mainstream media and them being able to brainwash and mind control the public and to get them to accept whatever these people say I'm not down with that program and I'm going to continue to do this because clearly they get mad <laughs> and clearly it triggers them um, that the truth is rising, you know, and they hate that. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to mention that I wanted to do a quick kind of update on that. Um, I'm not going to do too much talking because usually I get in trouble when I do. But uh, I did want to kind of mention that before the month went out because it was you know it was pretty early on in the month that this guy wrote this article and it's just it's just sad you know it's just sad that now you are an attacked you are attacked um if you ask questions if you are critical about the official story you know you're just a conspiracy theorist and, and you just don't even you don't even you shouldn't even have a right to uh, express your first amendment right you know you you just don't if you question that their narratives uh you don't deserve to have free speech you know you should just be censored and just wiped off <laughs> the the platform that you're on and that's what they're um advocating for and in terms of the whole youtube demonetization thing yeah that's still a thing that's still um you know, I've, I've been constantly hit. I mean, the last two videos I did were actually monetized, which was shocking. But this is what it is now, where if you're not going to just do cat videos, if you're not going to just self-censor so that you can make money off of YouTube, then they want you gone and they don't want you to make any money, etc. So um, the attack is on. It's still going. Um, the YouTube censorship campaign um, is continuing and then the mainstream media now is continually putting trying to put pressure on YouTube to shut us down and this is why you know I ask for the support and for me personally I can only say this is why I ask for support for people thank you to all the Patreons and to the people who support with the product um, and just leaving comments sharing the video because as you can see um, we are bringing down this matrix system bit by bit by bit they're just losing their grip uh and then you see with this whole harvey weinstein thing and the casting couch um so we're going to continue doing it i'm not going to stop uh because at this point you know if we stop then they win and then they can continue to brainwash you into believing that if you have a an alternative viewpoint upon something or if you see a person on cnn saying i heard we believe it was multiple shots or multiple shooters and you put it in a video and you try to just show it to people and say well you know what you all think about that you're a conspiracy theorist so um no i'm not going to stop so just kind of wanted to touch base talk about that quickly and um and just let you all know that yes there is an attack on free speech. Yes, there is an attack on truth. And uh, and be vigilant and continue to share these videos and continue to do your own research and to inform people in your own circle. Because if you don't, 
people like Tom McKay at Gizmodo will win, you know, and they'll continue to push this narrative that if you don't listen to them, then you don't deserve free speech. So, yeah. So anyway, that's that. Uh, So until next time, people, stay in the truth, stay in the Lord. All right.